we are going to talk about solve capacity problems. For this example, we have Alex use 250 milliliters of watermelon juice and 950 milliliters of water to make watermelon watermelon juice. How many milliliters of watermelon juice will he make? We are going to add 250 milliliters and 950 milliliters to find how much he, milliliters will he make of watermelon juice in total. 250 plus 950. We're gonna add a year in the bottom. 950 plus 250. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 5 is 10. 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12. So your final answer is going to be Alex will make 1,200 milliliters of watermelon juice. In this example, we have the total capacity of 7 pitchers is 21 liters. What is the capacity for of each pitcher if each has an equal amount of apple juice? Write an equation with a symbol for the unknown, then solve. For this example, we have to find out how much each one has. So we're going to have to divide for this one. We're going to have to divide 21 liters. And 7. We have to divide 21 by 7 because there are 21 liters and 7 pitchers. So we're going to do our math right here on the side. 27. Uh, by. How many times does 7 go into 2? 0 times. Right, 0 here. How many times does 7 go into 21? 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14 and 7 times 3 is 21 so we are going to subtract by 21 because 7 times 3 equals 21 so your answer will be 3 so there are 3 liters in each of the pitcher in this problem we have to find the total capacity of the liquid shown in the containers right here so for our first container, as you can see, it is at the 150 milliliters. So we're going to write 150. And in our second container, in our second container, we have to find how many there is. And it's at 50, it doesn't stop there, it keeps on going. At 100, it stops right there. And the problem that we have to do is we have to find what is the total combined. So we have to add 150 milliliters plus 100 milliliters. So right here we're going to do our math. Right here on the side. 150 plus 100. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 1 plus 1 is 2. So your final answer is 250 milliliters. For this problem, we have to find what is going to be the total amount of milliliters combined. So far, we have to find our first number. Our first number, is it 20? No, because it keeps on going. Is it 40? Yes, because it stops right there. It's going to be 40 milliliters plus our second number that we have to find out. Is it 20? No, because it keeps on going. Is it 40? No. Is it 60? No. Is it 80? Yes, because it stops right there. 80 milliliters. 
So here we're gonna do our math. 80 plus 40. 8. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, and 12. So your final answer will be 120 milliliters. So this time we have to find out how much liquid would be left if we poured out 200 milliliters from our number. So let's find our number. Can our number be 200? No, because it keeps on continuing. Is it, can it be 400? No. Can it be 600? Yes, because it stops right there. So, 600. And this problem says we have to find how much liquid would be left if you poured out 200 milliliters. Poured out means take out. So you gotta subtract 600 minus 200. So 600 minus 200, we're going to do our math right here, 600 and 200, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 6 minus 2, 6 minus 2, this is going to be 5, 4, so your final answer would be 400. So your final answer would be 400 milliliters. For this problem, we have to find how much liquid would be left if you poured out 300 milliliters. So we have to subtract 300 milliliters from our number that we're going to find right now. So 200, no, because it keeps on going. 400, keeps on going. 600, can it be 600? No. Can it be 800? No. Can be a thousand, yes, because it stops right there. So your numbers can be one thousand milliliters, and we're gonna subtract because it says how much liquid will be left if you pour it out. Pour it out means take out. So we're gonna subtract a thousand milliliters minus three hundred milliliters. We're going to do our math right here. 1000 minus 300. Make sure you line up your numbers. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Can you subtract 0 minus 3? No. So you would have to borrow from your left number. So when you borrow, you take out. So this is, instead of it being a 1, it's going to be a 0, and this is going to be a 10. So 10 minus 3, and we're going to subtract 3. 1, this is 9, this is 8, and then we're going to subtract one more, because it says 3, and your final answer is going to be 700. So your answer will be 700. Milliliters. If you have someone that is having trouble with solving capacity problems, make sure to share with them. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.